From talent winner of the Miss Canada pageant to recording artist, Cornelia Boucher met Billy McLeod in high school. And from there, the duo would become a prolific musical tandem, releasing five albums and four 45 recordings as Cornelia and Billy. They spent 20 years touring, making stops in Germany, Switzerland, Austria, France, Ecuador, Africa, Mexico, Japan, and the United States and Canada, but always called Richmond County Cape Breton home. Entertaining is a way of life for many Atlantic Canadians, and Cape Breton's Cornelia and Billy fell into that way of life naturally. Cornelia Boucher started at a young age, coming from a musical family, and played variety shows and dances during her teen years. She started playing piano when she was four years old, and it was a normal thing for the family to get together for a jam session. Billy picked up the guitar for something to do, since the family had no television and few resources for other entertainment. After graduating from the U.S. School of Music Correspondence course, he found some friends who needed a bass player for their band, and he took the gig. Billy knew Cornelia in high school, and later, this relationship blossomed into a romance, marriage, and musical partnership. After the two were married, Billy worked at the mill, and Cornelia taught school, having graduated from university and teacher's college with a specialty in music. They were also playing weekends all over Nova Scotia. It wasn't long before the duo went to Germany for three weeks on their first engagement by the Canadian government at the International Tourism Fair. And they would spend the next 20 years traveling the world with their special brand of country and Acadian roots music. Cornelia's ability to sing in both French and English only served to widen the audience for this talented and down-to-earth duo. They played clubs, taverns, trade fairs and festivals, but Cornelia and Billy always remained true to their Acadian and country roots, while also appearing on such television programs as Sing Along Jubilee and The Tommy Hunter Show. But no matter where they traveled, Cape Breton was never far from their thoughts. Cornelia and Billy had wonderful energy and a great sense of humor that any audience appreciated. Their obvious love of music, combined with Cornelia's dynamic stage presence and Billy's famous dry wit, made for a winning combination. Billy passed away in December of 2008, but he and longtime band member Marcel Doucette, a former recipient of this award, are likely smiling down on us today. The East Coast Music Association is proud to present the 2010 Stomp and Tom Award to Cornelia. Accepting uh, the Stomp and Tom Award on behalf of Cornelia and Billy are Cornelia Sutherland and Cornelia and Billy's uh, best production ever, their son, John Willie. Motors uh, present uh, Cornelia uh, with the award. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> An opportunity like this comes once in a lifetime. And I'm so happy to have it. Just wonderful. I remember uh, Billy and I watching the, uh, the awards the night that Stomp and Tom did this. And I thought to myself, why would he do that? 
We both said that, but now I know. Now I know why you did that. I want to thank, especially out from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank Dolores Woodrow, because without Dolores, this would have never happened. And uh, she's given me such a great gift, and uh, Billy's family, and John Willie, just a wonderful gift. And thank you to the uh, ACMA jury that did select us, because this is wonderful. And now I want to present my son, who, like the family, he's a Gemini uh, winner, uh, Joe McLeod. Um, it's, it's really too bad Dad couldn't, couldn't be here to see this, because uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And, there's not a lot of words that I have to, uh, to say how proud I am of, of both of them. And um, uh, I just want to say thank you on his behalf. And uh, I'm going uh, to let the music do the talking.